Hello YouTubers, this is Tanuj right now working with Web Developer Efi channel which is my own private channel. So today we would be looking into some features of XSLT that how you can granularize your data or how you can retrieve from last set of data to the subset. I already prepared some videos before in which I made you understand like how XSLT works with XML. So you just transform your XML documents into your HTML elements. To look into more details, you can visit my channel and at the end of this video, I would be showing you where you can navigate to to look into this playlist series. So let's get started with today's agenda and today's agenda would be to have some uh, if conditions or sorting feature that we can apply for XML documents. So let us open the XML documents which we prepared in our previous tutorials. So let me just open it in my sublime text. I'm sorry. It just opened the terminal. Let me just open it in my sublime text. So this is the document, XML document and this is the XSL file which is referenced in XML document to convert XML document into the required HTML tag. So that you can see that there is one table tag, PR tag, TH tag which is all HTML elements. So today we would be looking into how you can retrieve smallest set of data from this data set. So to work with this, I will retrieve all those student which have marks more than 90, which has marks more than 90. So to run this in the student.xsl file inside the for each statement, I will write x s l f and there is one attribute with the name test equal to and what is the tag so it is marks so we will write marks is greater than 90 and we will make closing of XML if tag. So let's just save this file and open this in the sub and open this in the Safari browser. So the data should be only having those students which have more than 90 marks right so it would be only one person with the name vanit so you can see that it is more only one result was written from this entire subset of data so in order to do it in your regular web document you used to write some javascript in which there was if condition to filter those results but in XML, you can just write the tag XML F and the test condition which is satisfies. So if you want, you can put greater than or equal to. I'm sorry. Let's just save this file and try to run it in the Safari browser. So it should return more than one because I think so. Okay. So if, if this is not satisfying, so there is one uh, documentation which you can find it in tutorialspoint.com. So these are the for each loop value of sort if choose condition key message apply templates import. So for each they have given the proper description. So you can look into that and you can play around with this tag. Right. So I put marks is greater than. So
okay the second one which i want to try is the sort so in sorting if i open this in sort so you can see that there is some attributes so xsl sort is the tag name and then you can define order which is ascending descending you can select which data or which node in XML you want to sort in order to use that let me just remove the if statement and let me just use XSL sort So the tag should be defined like this XSL sort so if I open my documentation it is selecting an order so I will select class dot student dot not dot slash first name and the order would be ascending so let me just save this file and open this in the safari to see whether it is sorted or not so this time we removed if statement so it will return all set I have not saved this file I believe okay this should be class now let me try to run this okay so XML document is having some trouble to display it so let me check I think so I did something wrong so this is the data type okay so inside for each loop we have to use XSL sort so I did it wrong way so XSL sort should come inside for each loop and then it's already iterating over class student so we just need only the first name and the order would be ascending so just save this file now and try to run it this is why the documentation is important so you can see that now D J and V right so this is sorry K S G so this is coming in ascending order with the last name so these all tags are useful so you can look into tutorial point.com and look into different different tags and choose it appropriately uh, to work with XML document to convert it into HTML document so that's it for today's tutorial Thank you and have a great day. Bye everyone.